relative minimums and relative maximums. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the high and the low point from where? Ooh. That's probably better right there. Get rid of that. What? We're talking about the high and the low point relative to the points around them. We're talking about the relative min and the relative max. This has both a relative min and a relative max. Well, we're looking at the x values around here. Boom. Oh, it's lower there for y. And it's lower there for y. So this guy's high right there. That's the relative max. Oh, The relative max, what's its value? Oh, the relative max of three. Where does it occur? At one, two, three, four. X is equal to minus four. It is a point. It's the point minus four, three, but what? It's a relative max of three, and it occurs when X is equal to four minus four. So when x is minus four, it makes a high of three. Now we see dip over here. That's a low point. Isn't that one lower? We're just talking about the points around that point. It's a low point relative to the ones around it. We're not talking absolute max or absolute min. That's another thing. This is a conceptual introduction. If you're looking for that, you're going to have to wait until I shoot my mm, calc series. Anyways, a low, a relative low. The low, the low is minus 3, a relative low of minus 3, and it occurs at what x value? 1, 2, 3, 4. It occurs at x is equal to 4. And that's a short story, and that's pretty much all I got for you on the highs and the lows of the graph. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.